a coach is more formal a coach is more structured and then a coach the main aim of a coach is to help you to bring out your full potential mm. yes the act- actually the best way to grow is to give it's not the function of your size but the function of your heart of your heart your mindset, your mindset. Yes. The coach will also help the coachee or the client or the customer to be disciplined to be a better manager of time of course you can't give what you don't have yes. you have to grow yourself to be able to give and the more you give the more you grow the more you grow the more you want to give it becomes like a like a cycle a growing cycle yes that that's and what we look at to determine what we look like yes. so you have to look to the right people so the coach is there to help you short term it's not long term unlike a mentor that is long term but a coach is just short term to help you to get that full potential get that um, talent out in you. So you realize, for, for example, um, in Premiership, uh, what's, what's it called? There's this football club that at the time, Chelsea. Oh, yeah. They had this Mourinho was their coach. Mourinho never played football. <laughs> he never played football. So you, they, you, you, it, it wasn't a mentor because the player was actually better than him in football. You understand? But he was a coach because he could help to identify the potential in the players, bring it out, and then the players are actually attaining their heights because the coach has been able to help them to bring out their potential and they can sledge and sledge. You understand? That's what the, the purpose of a coach is. So it's actually different from a mentor. I think I Beautiful moment to everyone. You are watching another episode of Abuja Health. And guess what? Today program is going to be different in style. I'm with someone special, a boss, a brother, a big bro, a father, <laughs> a mentor, a coach. Sir, can the world meet you, sir? Well, thank you very much. Um, my name is Tunde Ogunde. Wow. Yes, um, I'm by profession, I'm an IT professional uh, with uh, over 27 years experience in IT. Wow. But um, today, I'm now into all the other areas of, um, of business, yes. Yeah, that's cool, that's yes. cool. So before I dip into the main question of today, you look so... Thank you very much. should be like when I go so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you guys, very much. So guys, I tell you today, program is going to be, you know, I tell you anything about Abu Jahel, it is so educative, and we're going to be taking you into another style today. Before I move, let me just... I would like to zip some tea. Thanks <laughs> for the tea I'll, coffee, I'll, I'll join you. I'll <laughs> nice. join you. Thank you very wow. much. Wow. Man, I love this. <laughs> what flavor is it? Well, it's um I don't want to I don't want to call the name of the brand. Okay. And, uh, yeah, but it's it's just cool <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I think I love it. <laughs> so so good afternoon. Sir. Good day, sir. Again, thank I'm you. So happy to be with you. Uh, the reason why we are here, I want you to educate the world. Okay. You know, a lot of people convince coach from mentor. So I want you to tell us the difference between a coach and a mentor. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a very good question. Actually, lots of people uh, they they find it very diff- diff- difficult to get the difference between the two. But uh, one thing is is certain: the two of them are actually meant to help an individual to attain um, certain things in life. A mentor is actually more informal; it's uh, it's more personal, and uh, usually a mentor wants to help you, hold your hands, uh, teach you, guide you on how to attain the same level that he has attained. His aim is actually for you to be able to get to his own level. So a coach is usually higher than the men, uh, sorry, a mentor is usually higher than the mentee. That is what a mentor is. Now for a coach, a coach is more formal. A coach is more structured. And then a coach, the main aim of a coach is to help you to bring out your full potential. Mm. Let's let's look at, for, ex- for example, let's look at a, a football player. You, you, you like football, but the coach has identified in you that you have huge potentials, but you don't know how to get there. Mm. So the coach is there to help you short term. It's not long term, unlike a mentor that is long term, mm. but a coach is just short term to help you to get that full potential, get that um, talent out in you so that you're able to attain 
that um, bright future that you, you, aim, you aim to be. So it's actually more short term. You understand? That, that's, that's, that's the main difference. But the, the aim of both is for the person to become much better than he is. Actually, so he actually I think is, I, yes. I understand what yeah. you're trying to say. You know, a mentor is someone you look up to. You might, you might not, like me, most of my mentors, I've never seen them in my life. You yeah. know, I read about them, I check on them, their profile, I look forward to be like them. Why a coach is just like a teacher, someone that you have a formal, it could be formal. through Zoom, through meetings, yes. you understand? Yes. So I think I yes. get it. In fact, uh, one of the difference is that usually a coach, a coach is paid. Yes, because it's formal, yes, it's structured. Yes, yes, so yes. a coach is paid. A mentor may not be paid. It's yes. it's informal. It's yes. more personal. Yes. You understand? Uh, it's more personal. So, uh, but for the mentor, you might not be able to bring out your full potentials, mm. but you're just following to be able to attain his own level. So you might have a mentor in marriage. You might have a mentor in parenting. You might have a mentor in different areas of spiritual, life. Yes, spiritual, spiritual financial, exactly business. things like that. You might have a mentor, but the coach is to bring out your full potentials, he identifies that potential in you, mm. the best thing that is in you, and it helps you to de- bring it out, develop it, and then you can actually use it to attain the height that you want yeah, in life. because while I was getting, you know, while I was young, I used to be surprised that, okay, why is it that in a football team or in basketball or boxer, they have a coach, someone training them, and they can still do more better than that? I was like, why, why will you have a coach coach you when you can do better than that coach in that field. So exactly, like, <laughs> yeah. You, you, you realize, for, for example, um, in Premiership, um, what's, what's it called? Uh, there's this football club at the, at the time, Chelsea. Oh, yeah. They had this Mourinho was their coach. Mourinho never played football. <laughs> he never played football. So you, they, he, 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 he wasn't a mentor because the player was actually better than him in football. In you understand? But he was a coach because he could help to identify the potential in the mm. play players, bring it out, and then the players are actually attaining their heights because the coach has been able to help them to bring out their potential and they can fledge and flex. You understand? That's what the, uh, the purpose of a coach is. So it's actually different from a mentor. I, think I understand it. Yeah. While we're in university, most of our lecturers maybe medical, they might, they're not, they are, they are not doctors, they've never practiced, but they teach you different aspects for you to be best. Yeah, exactly. So I think I understand it. So now that we know the difference between a coach and a mentor, so why do people need a coach? Hmm, that's a very big question too. Why do people need coaches? You see, um, a coach, like I said before, a coach will help the let me use the word kochi, kochi, <laughs> or the clients, or uh, mm-hmm. to be able to identify his full potentials. Mm-hmm. A coach will actually help the kochi to overcome fears. You see, I, I like to liken it to uh, a small boy that the coach has identified that this guy can play, mm-hmm. can play football, but the guy doesn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. So he has fears. Because he has a coach, the coach helps him to overcome his fears. That is one. The coach will also help the coachee or the client or the customer to be disciplined, to be a better manager of time. So we are still looking at it from the point of view of sports. The, the student or, or the, the sportsman is not disciplined, but because he has a coach, the coach will help him to be disciplined, to manage his time effectively. When he wants to give up, the coach is there to say, no, you can't give up. You're going to attain this potential and this is what you need. He's always there. That's the coach. The coach will help you to, to, to overcome fears, to be disciplined with time, to overcome obstacles. The coach is also there to encourage. Because lots of times you see, look at a, a boxing match, for example. Um, if you've watched uh, the, the Champ, it's an, it's an old boxing movie. When the Champ was actually giving up, the coach was there to encourage him. He was giving up. He, in fact, he had almost lost the match, but because the coach was saying, you can do it, mm-hmm. you can do it, you have the full potential. That's one of the reasons why people need coaches. Mm. Actually, in life, lots of people can't overcome their fears. Mm. Lots of people see a lot of obstacles and they give up. A, lots of people are not disciplined with mm. time. A lot of people cannot manage themselves, you understand? And there is need for them to have that person that can help them get them from point A to point B in a, in, a, in a defined period of time. That is the work of a coach. 
And lots of people are missing their way because they don't have a coach. In fact, everybody actually needs a coach because most people don't even know that they have potentials. That's true. Yeah. Because for you to have a better structure of your life, you need someone to coach you. You need exactly. people to like, man, do it this way. Because while I was growing, I never knew I have some things in me. Till I exactly. start following people, or great people, coaching, like, oh, you can do this, you can do this. And before you know, it brings out, and I'm also trying to do the same thing to the young ones. Anytime I see young talent, while maybe they are using it for fun, or else, why not take this thing serious? Yeah. I see this in you. I see this in you. And before you know, they are like men. They love what they are doing. So I think we all need coach. Yes. We, not, we, we all need we, to be coach. Yes. That's true. That's true. So, sir, the next question is, what is the benefit of coaching to the youth and the society at large? Because these days, the youth are like, forget, well, I don't need this. And I think that's <laughs> one of the problems we are facing. So what's yeah. the benefit of coaching to youth and the society at large? Mm, actually, actually, it's not just the youth that need coaching. Yes, yes, that's why I use the word at large. Society, yes. Yeah, the society. Because you realize that there are even elderly people that still have potentials, and they don't know that they have these potentials. They actually need the coach. One truth is that if you have potentials and you don't have somebody to help you bring out those potentials, the potentials will go with you to the grave. Mm. Mm. You understand? That's why it is often said that the best place where you see the greatest potentials is in the graveyard. Mm. Many potentials have gone with the people and they've died and been buried with them. So for the youth and the general public, anybody, first of all, if you know that you need to fulfill your potentials, because you see, a mentor, for you to actually, you actually need mentors in virtually every area of life. You can decide to have a mentor, like I said, in marriage, someone you look up to. Your mentor might be your pastor. Mm. But you see, for, for that person to be your mentor in that marriage, that means he has a very stable marriage. His marriage is an example, mm. and he can mentor you. You can't go to a single man and say that he'll be your mentor in marriage. <laughs> it's, that's, that's crazy. So it can be your, marriage, your, your, your mentor in your marriage, in spiritual matters, your pastor or your imam can also be your mentor in spiritual matters. You can have a mentor in financial matters, in business matters, in, 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 even in, in fashion, you can have a mentor, you understand? Now, this mentor, one, this mentor is somebody that you, you actually look up to, is an example of what you want in that particular area of life. And there's value that you're getting from him. There are some mentors that they are actually your mentor, but they don't even know you. Yes. It might be he or she might be mentoring you through the books he has written. Or through YouTube. Through YouTube, through some um, maybe broadcast, radio program, or things like that. And you're constantly learning something from him. And you want to be like him. You actually want to be like your mentor. You want to get to his level. You understand? So it is, it is for you, your duty as a person to find a mentor, find somebody to mentor you. Now, if the mentor, if it's not somebody that, that gets to know you, that you, you get to meet physically, one-on-one -on -one. One -on -one or something like that, your mentor must accept you. You understand? It must accept you. And then you have to be ready to do what your mentor does. You have to be ready to do what he says. That is mentoring. It mentors you. It's, that's why we said it is long term. It's not short term. And often mentors are not paid because it's something that he's doing from his heart. Yes. You understand? Those people writing books and mentoring other people, they're just doing it from their heart. So a mentor is actually long term. A mentor is, a mentor is long term. You, it's, it's more personal, so he's not actually looking, looking for you to pay or something like that, unlike a coach that you actually have to pay for his, his services here. Yeah. If people want you to coach them, because I know you have a coaching program, which I've yeah. attended one of your coaching program, and it was indeed, yeah. you know, it was a networking place where you can explore, bring out the things in you. So yes. how can be people uh, subscribe to that? How can people join your coaching program? Oh, that's a, that's a very good question. The, the first thing is that the person has to 
realize that it needs a coach. Okay. That's the first thing. That's okay. I need a coach. I I I have things in life that I've not been able to achieve. Um, I have that need. There's a, there's a void in my life that needs to be filled, and I need somebody to help me to be able to fill that void. Mm. So once the person realizes that, then is actually taking the first step to getting a coach. Now for, for, for our coaching programs, it's uh, usually online. We, we use uh, the Zoom, Zoom um, webinar platform to actually do our coaching. And uh, the, this, this actually goes on, you can, the person that wants to be coached can be anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, because technology has gone beyond yes. the physical yes. boundaries right now. So um, we, we, have, we have bigger coaches, and we have junior coaches in, in our coaching program. We have coaches uh, from Nigeria, from Cameroon, from Congo, from, the, from Europe, Belgium, yes. Ireland, and the U United States of America. So we have coaches in different places that offer to coach you in our organization. We, we, also, we also have a, a school of coaching. Wow. A school of coaching where you can actually be trained while being coached for, for your own need you can actually become a coach yourself because you've gone through the program and you want to pass it on. You want to help other people to discover their potentials. So the first thing is that you have the need for your potential to be discovered mm. and you have people that are ready to help you to discover those potentials. One of the ways in which if you want to, anyone that wants to subscribe to our coaching programs, one way is you can actually contact me. You can visit my website. That's at tundeogunde.com. That's www.tundeogunde.com. Tundeogunde.com. Send me a message and I'll be able to guide you on how you can join our coaching programs. We also have regular monthly retreats, online retreats, where we take different topics that affect your life, that can help anyone's life to actually be transformed. As long as you're willing to learn, you can actually take part of take part in this. And um, another thing is that we have, some, we have some programs for the youth. If you have a, someone from the age of 12 to 21, we, we also give them particular attention. We even have the one for children. So we want to be able to catch them young, hmm. to be able to guide the children on leadership, wow. on entrepreneurship, on personal development. Everything focuses on leadership, entrepreneurship, and personal development. So as your person is being developed, your entrepreneurship spirit is being grown, and then you're also taught how to be a leader, practical leader, real leader, the way leaders are supposed to be. You can be trained. So all you, anybody that wants to subscribe, just contact me on tundeogunde.com or send me an email to tunde at tundeogunde.com and I'll be able to guide you on, on how to take part in this program. Wow. Yes. I think I really love that part of the children, you know, yes. catch them young. Catch them and young. And it's better to work on the foundation than working on the On forts. the structure, yes. Yeah, and in the structure. When it's a structure, you're not working on the thoughts, you know. It's better that way. It's better to groom a child than yeah. trying to amend <laughs> yes, when it's that's grown. True. That's true. That's so true. another thing you said, you know, some people were like, uh, why do I want to join school of coaching? I don't want to become. You don't need to be. You, no. you, you don't need to take it as a profession. <laughs> no, you. at all. Because one thing I see about that is that when you are in that institute, you know, coaching people, you are teaching people a way of life. You are actually yes. helping yourself. Yes. Because you can't be teaching people and still want to remain the same. same. You want to <laughs> increase. You want to understand. So when yes. that's one of those things I see. When mm -hmm. I teach people, mm -hmm. you might not be. It might be out of your profession. It might be in your profession. You will not remain the same yeah. because it adds something to you. To you, so yes. That's, that's the, actually, the best way to grow is to give. Yes, that's actually yes, the best way yes, to grow. Yes, yes, so that's, that's, that's why coaches, coaches give themselves. And in order to give themselves, of course, you can't give what you don't have. Yes. You have to grow yourself to be able to give. And yes. the more you give, the more you grow. Yes. The more you grow, the more you want to give. It becomes like a, like a cycle, yes. a growing cycle. Yes, that's, that, that's, that's why coaches, uh, coaches are people that are actually needed yes. in, in our society today. Anybody should actually look forward to having a coach, a life coach. So you've yes. all heard that, you understand? You've the difference between coaching and mentoring. Because a lot of people, they don't even know who their mentor is. You know, you, you don't need, 
someone does not need to be a rich man is your mentor no an aspect in your life okay this person is better let me follow this person exactly That's how to discover. because who you follow determines what follows, what follows you, you. Your, yes. your surrounding determines your survivor so we have to be very careful of who we follow and what we look at determines what we look like mm, yes. so you have to look to the right people when you yeah. look wrongly you look you know mm -hmm. it's you know it's not the function of your size but the function of your heart of your heart your yeah, mindset your mindset yes. very yes. important yes. so thank you very much it's I my, really my pleasure it. thank you so you've been all heard thank you, you can you can just call him chat him up on gmail website at sundayogunday.com thank you very much so thank we come to the end of the program so thank sir, you very much i really appreciate for the privilege thank you time spend it's all my pleasure time is money i know you're very busy person. it's all my pleasure yeah, thank so you my very pleasure much, sir. thank you very so, much you guys follow him he's yeah. a great man <laughs> thank you very much so thank you sir. i look forward to hearing from you yeah thank you thank, thank you. you very much sir. thank you very much yeah, thank, thank you and thanks for the coffee it's okay <laughs> <laughs> no more